Well, here's your boy David again. The address has changed now that I am in the custody of the enemy, but I'm alive in perfect condition. And unless the war ends soon, I shall probably be that way for some time. Oh, we each hold important stories and memories that we want to preserve for our families for generations to come. But recording and documenting those stories, it can seem overwhelming. We asked Sarah Kimmel with Family Tech Zone to simplify it for us by sharing easy to use tools that can help us save our family history and our own stories as well. It's so great to have you. Thank you. Sarah's a brave girl this morning because that clip we just saw is actually of your grandpa who you were so close with. Yes, yeah, and I'm, I'll try not to cry as I talk about uh, uh, how we got that story down. Those but. memories, you did though have the opportunity to sit down with him and record some of those important life markers and memories in his life. Yeah, so actually I'm so grateful to my brother. My, he's from Southern California. My brother, it was, you know, he was only about 70 or so when he passed away. So my brother's like, you know what, we need to get grandpa's stories down, so he sat down with grandpa and recorded these stories and a few months after that is when my grandpa passed away uh, and so it was so I'm so grateful yeah. that he did that and I, when he did I have similarly a, a, a memory of sitting down at a cabin at Henry's Lake with my grandparents and I remember my uncle at the time who has stepped in and served now as the patriarch of our extended family and my grandpa and grandma's passing saying stop everybody stop we're gonna circle up we're gonna listen to these stories I remember sitting on that rug hearing my grandma talk about being the Wheaton Beat princess and whatnot and you do you as a child, I was frustrated because I wanted to go play, but right. now <laughs> you appreciate those stories and those memories. Yes. So that video, I was impressed with a couple things. The sound and the quality was great. What did you use to, to record that? So actually, super easy to record stories now with cam with uh, just your cell phone. Really? Yeah. So you take you get um, a tripod just like this. Uh -huh. This was like 20 bucks at Best Buy. Uh -huh. And you can set your tripod up and then just start talking and record it from your camera. The cameras in these phones are amazing now. So you can get really great quality just with your cell phone. $30 tripod and you're on your way. Yes. Didn't need a special microphone, didn't need special audio. No, and you can if you really want to like go that extra mile, but uh -huh. the important thing is to just get those stories recorded. Yeah. And that's going to be the easiest way. A lot of stories include paperwork, documents, marriage certificates, birth certificates. Is there any easy way to save and preserve those? Yeah, so for sure, I love this scanner from ScanSnap. It's super small, it's wireless, it's portable, it scans really quickly. So you put something in and it's just going do, 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 do. And so that way you can get it really quickly done. Mm -hmm. It can sync up to your phone. So all of a sudden you can see all the scans right on your phone. You don't need it hooked up to any computers or nice. anything like that. It goes right to your phone. Yeah. So you can get, or, and you can even scan it right up to Dropbox. We'll talk about Dropbox in a minute, but you can just scan those and have them online right away. Or to your computer and it's all there preserved. Yeah. Well, if, if I'm if I'm the family member responsible for these precious heirlooms, these documents, these photos, and I want to not just hold the only copy in my hand, but share it with siblings or share it with family members, what's the easiest way to do that? So like I was just mentioning about Dropbox. Dropbox. Yes, so um, we can scan all of these items, pictures, marriage certificates, everything, and upload them to Dropbox and then share that folder with your family members. So you can have different folders for different sides of your family and mm -hmm. you can share you know, this side with all of your cousins on that side and you can share this side with all of your cousins on this side so that everybody has access to it. And you know, a Dropbox account is free mm -hmm, and so you mm -hmm. can just all put everything in there. You know, as you get to certain levels, you might have to pay if you're storing a ton of data, right. but it gives you a lot of room for free. I use Dropbox a lot here at work as we're file sharing videos and photo sources right. and I have to tell you I am not techie and I get really overwhelmed with anything too high tech. Dropbox has been pretty intuitive and yeah. easy to use. Super easy. You can just drag and drop right on your desktop yeah. on the computer so you know super easy to get those things up. So speaking while we're talking about sharing these memories and these photos Thanksgiving provides this awesome time to sit down as a family and watch videos like of your grandpa David or whatnot. What's the best way to do that and share the memories and bring them to life in the room? So this is what's really great about this Moto Z. So what I love is you can have, you know, go into the other room, record all the stories, uh -huh. then come back out and you take it off the tripod. What is, is super Moto Z easily. a phone? This is, this is a Moto Z and this is a Moto Mod. This oh. is actually a projector. Oh, what? So you can put the projector mod That's like six onto inches, the phone. That's like six inches long. And it's then pretty. project the story for everybody else to see. Hold on, this is your phone, this is the projector, it goes on the wall, like just a white wall? Yeah. 
Wow. And so while you're all sitting around, you can project the story that you just recorded in the other room and everybody can enjoy it. Oh, that's fantastic. And a little bit of an investment on the price point side, but if you again are the family member designated or, or the one who's taken this on right. as your personal passion project, those tools make it so easy. Yeah, and this is just like, it's magnetic, mm. so you just take it on and off, Very and cool. it's really cool. Very cool. We know how important journaling is, and I think whenever we talk about family history or preserving memories, our minds go back to that old-fashioned, you know, practice of journaling. There's right. some modern ways to do that, too. Of course. So I use Journey, an app on my phone. I can either type it on my computer. There's a, you know, a cloud that I can log into mm -hmm. and I can type out my journal entry or I can just write it out on my phone or there's, um, you know, voice to text and you can just talk your journal cool. into it and it'll, you know, write it all out or you can just record your voice and just have that recorded and you can have a picture associated. So if I took a picture of my kids that day, I can add that to my journal entry. The talk feature for anyone who says, I don't have time to sit down and manually type out my detailed story. The right. talk feature would really be a lifesaver. Super easy. Yeah. Easy to do. Yeah. yeah. All right, before I say goodbye, I have to point out these pictures. We're dying here in the studio. This looks just like you. Who is this? So this is my second great grandmother, oh Emily. Gosh. Yeah. Oh, I walked over and Sarah was standing directly behind Emily's beautiful photo here. I love that you've preserved these so in such a in such a beautiful way. But can you believe the resemblance? I mean, oh my goodness. All right, Family Tech Zone is your website. What can we it find is. there? Uh, you can find just more information about all of this stuff and more tech information to help your family. Thanks for sharing a personal bit of yourself. We love yeah, that. No Thank problem. you, Sarah, so much. Uh -huh.